Hey YouTube, what's going on? I'm Greg. Welcome back to my machine shop. Today we're going to start working on the water pump for our Wallaby 30cc engine. The Wallaby is water cooled, so we're going to be using an impeller style engine driven water pump. Let's take a look at the 3D print and get our bearings. Let's take a look at the exploded view of the Wallaby water pump. It's an impeller driven water pump. This is the impeller here. It turns clockwise when viewed from the front of the engine. Water comes in through this center hose barb to the center of the impeller. The impeller spins and flings the water outwards, which is then collected through this point in the water pump body and routed back out through the second hose barb. The impeller spins on an eighth inch shaft, which passes through a brass bushing, which is loctited into the water pump bracket here, which mounts to the engine. The shaft passes through our pulley, which is secured by a set screw. The whole assembly is screwed together with these 440 socket head cap screws. Let's take a look at machining this impeller first. To machine the impeller I started with a 7 8 inch diameter brass rod, faced the end on my lathe, then machined the profile on my CNC router. I've included a link below to my Patreon page where I have all of the Fusion 360 files if you'd like to try this on your own. For those of you without CNC, let's take a look at how we would machine this on a standard mill. So how do we machine this impeller? Well, there's five blades. So the first thing we want to do is take our stock. I took a strip of paper, measured it around the circumference, divided it into fives, taped it to the side, and then I'll make marks every onto my stock. I'm going to clamp this collet block in the vise to fix the center of this piece of brass stock. Then referring to the drawing, on page two, notice that there's two one eighth inch round circles marked here and here. What we're going to do is we're going to find the center of our stock in the mill. We're going to take an eighth inch end mill and we're going to bring it in from the side and we're going to stop at this point here, which is one five four and 53. Then we're going to pull it back out move it up a quarter of an inch from the center and bring it in again, then bring it out. Then we're going to take this and we're going to rotate it 72 degrees to the next fin on our impeller and repeat the operation. Bring this into here, bring it out, bring it up, bring it over. That will cut these fins here. One, Two. Does that make sense? Bring it in, cut this one, bring it out, bring it up, cut this one, bring it out. Rotate it 72 degrees. Repeat, repeat. That's all it takes. That will provide us with our bare impeller stock. Now we can take that and go over to the lathe. We start by turning down the outside diameter of our impeller to 0.8 inches. Then we use a quarter inch end mill and bring it and create a 0.125 inch deep pocket. This is the water entry point in our impeller. Finally, we use a center drill, an undersized number 31 drill and an 8 inch reamer to create the hole down the middle 
for our impeller shaft. We touch off our parting tool with a razor blade to set the zero point, machine the small shoulder, and then part the impeller off. There's our impeller done. All right, let's turn our attention to the pulley. So I found this one and a half inch aluminum round. We'll make our water pump pulley out of that. I want this face perpendicular to the shaft. And I want the pulley, and this is the area the fan belt will ride. I'd like that to be true to my center shaft. So I'll face this end rough out this pocket i think i'll finish this pocket then center drill drill this shaft hole and come in here with a tool create this groove for our fan belt then the rest of it is not quite as critical we'll machine the back side out from the back cut it part it off and we'll worry about this set screw hole later. We'll do that in the middle. We'll start with our facing operation. We'll turn down the outside to the largest diameter of the pulley. Next up, I'll center drill and then rough drill using a half inch drill bit, the pocket on the inside of the water pump pulley. Then use a half inch end mill to give myself a nice flat bottom. and then finish up with a small boring bar to bring the inside pocket to the proper diameter. To create the center hole for the water pump pulley, we use the same technique we've been using all along. We'll center drill, drill undersize, and then ream for the eighth inch dowel pin being used for our shaft. To create the pulley groove, we use a form tool with the proper round shape and then machine to a 1 16th inch depth. A parting tool is the easiest way to finish off the required machining of our pulley. Finally, we'll part it off. The final operation after some cleanup of our pulley is to drill and tap the hole for the set screw. We use an edge finder to find the center and then we center drill, drill, and tap. The brass bushing for the water pump shaft is straightforward. The only critical operation is we'd like it to be a snug fit within the bracket so our pulley and impeller run true. We made a great start on our engine driven water pump pulley for our Wallaby 30cc engine. Next time we'll finish off the engine bracket, the water pump body, the brass fittings, and we'll come up with a little test setup to see how it actually works. Until next time. I'm Greg. Thanks for visiting me in my machine shop. Take care.